Mating K, everyone. Here we are. We're mating my uh, it's my first prototype. This is the four-inch ballerina and a new camera. So we'll see how that performs at night. New motors and uh, yeah, new frame. So let's go. I have no, I have no OSD. So hopefully we don't smash it right here cord do we have a battery do we have a memory card three two one let's go Woo. people turning just camera like at night this picture looks bloody good this picture looks really good uh, I'm not, I can't see the cords that nicely, but I kind of know they're there. Yeah, that feels nice. It's smooth. It's really nice. Yeah, it floats a bit better. It floats nicer than the uh, 3.5. It's weird because it's so light. It seems steady on the punch out. I don't know, it's weird. I almost feel like my... Um, my 3.5 feels faster. My picture froze. So I think what happened was I had the camera wired to the VTX and the VTX didn't it had the spots for the camera but it didn't have them put in so like I pushed pins in and maybe the pins weren't in that well. So after having another issue with this I uh that was yesterday night I took it home and I took the camera off the VTX and wired it up to the flight controller, which made everything a lot better. Also, I don't have an OSD right now, like I do the next day. I didn't have it then, so it's just like everything felt a little bit more sketchy and I wasn't able to really tell how everything was. But it is quite smooth, I can say that. Like, it just, it feels very smooth, very controllable, and here it loses picture again. Well, something's funny with the video, it's not reliable and it keeps cutting out, but hey, we took those smashes fine, no damage, we are good, yeah. That's why you don't fly in sketchy places with new builds, like I know there's this big field here so I can fly over it. I can get it if it falls there, and I was kind of like on the street near where I was. I didn't go too far, but um, yeah, never, never do like building dives with a new build. Thoughts? I'm a little underwhelmed. I guess it's because it's like okay, it's super smooth. It's super easy to control. I think it's going to be great. Uh, it's just not super powerful. Like it's, uh, it's doesn't have the torque, right? But it, it's probably going to be efficient, smooth, and a nice cruiser, which I, I don't know. I guess I still love the discus the most. But it's still pretty sick. I'm happy with it. Like, it's, it's different. 
inside my house I feel super comfortable in front of the camera and stuff but as soon as I go outside like this I get like weird I'm I'm like shy like yeah I don't when I'm in my home I don't give a crap about what anyone sees or thinks but when I'm outside I get like self-conscious like I'm not as courageous I'm not like at home or in the salon I feel like a fish inside my bowl and I'm just happy and when I leave it's kind of like it's just weird. It, this is a weird thing. It's weird to talk to a camera. And it took about a year to get used to talking to the camera at home without feeling like a weirdo. But who knows how long it'll be until I can like do this and not feel weird. Because it's just not natural. It's weird. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. It's not as amazing as I thought it would be. Like, it's still good. It's smooth. It turns beautifully. There's no, like, shake. There's barely any um, prop wash or whatever. Uh, tune is good. My tune is beautiful. If you want to try it on your drone, just go in my beginner playlist and the short there. That's the tune. But make sure that you put RPM filtering on it before you put my tune on it. And that is in the videos called like Make Your Drone Fly Amazing or something like that. All in the beginner playlist. If you haven't watched those, watch everything in my beginner playlist. It's really helpful for new people. And I'm going to build another one with bigger motors and see what that feels like, but I really wanted to try out the 1304s. They feel really nice. I just wonder why my video's cutting out. I wonder if it's because it's like at the pins, or, um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Good night. Smoochy, smoochy. Okay, it's the next day, and look at that, we have OSD. So, all I did was wire up the camera to the flight controller. The picture's looking good. We haven't had any breakouts today or anything. Now in general, I like to spare you guys boring footage and cut a nice video, but because this is kind of like a maiden, it's like a review of my own drone, I guess. I'm just going to show you the whole fight. This is literally the next day, so this is today. And we're flying it, and now I can at least see, like, when my battery's gonna die and stuff. Now, it's a 4-inch, so it should be able to fly a long time, but I'm flying a 600, so I'm getting about 4 minutes of flight time. And now uh, I am noticing, like, with the flight characteristics compared to the discus. Now, most of my discus are on 1404s or 1504s, or 1504.5s. So they have more twerk than this drone. So this drone's like really nice, light, and balanced and stuff. So it moves really smoothly. And that's kind of what I wanted it for. I wanted to have something that I can kind of shoot really stable footage on and you point it where you want to go, and it goes, and it's really, really easy to control. It's a weird thing to explain, but it does fly smoother than the discus, but the discus feels like it has quite a bit more power. Like, I, it, it, this, it, it, it just, it has like a swift agility to it, but it just doesn't have that torque. So when you're flying around, you can go fast and you can control it really nicely. It's really smooth, but it doesn't have a lot of throw because it's not heavy. And it doesn't have a lot of torque. So when you like throttle, like when you just hit the throttle, it, it's not as happy. Like it, it's weird because the discus actually feels heavier and more powerful than the ballerina. And the ballerina, it's just swift. It feels more floaty, but it's not floaty in a bad way. And I personally don't really like five inches. But, 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 like, I feel like you get more, I don't know, resolution, movement, and speed out of, like, a 3.5. Now, on the straight, the 5 will be faster than a 3.5. But when you're not on the straight and you're turning and, like, doing stuff, it's just the agility of a 3.5 is 
really neat. And this four inch, it feels, feels really good. I feel like I can really control it well. And Avery has flown the Drac Knight, so that's what she flew before, and she killed it. So, after flying this, and after seeing her flying in the simulator quite a bit lately, I knew she'd be able to fly this. So, you get a little treat, and you get to see Avery basically flying for the first time like a real drone. And she was so scared of doing it, but <laughs> and now you're going to get to see her fly for the first time. Here we go. This is Avery. Though, so it's not going to be the most exciting fight, but here he be go. She got a bit scared, and she's back up. I just told her to try to keep it level. This uh, drone has a 30 degree angle also, so all she has to do is kind of keep it level. It'll go where she needs to go, but she's a, she's a little bit scared now. I flipped it for her and keep it back, and she just needs to um, work on throttle control. When you start, that's what you got to do, and <laughs> she's only seven years old, right? And this is basically like her first time flying a real drone, but I, I knew she'd be able to handle it, and uh, so... I'd, I'd get her to go around in circles, but there's people on the other side of the track. So I try to keep her out of the, uh, out of the lane where people are. And she's just going back and forth. <laughs> I told her no tricks, no flips or anything. And at one point she asks me, can I do a dive? And I said yes, so she does her first little dive, which is gonna probably come up soon. But for now she's just kind of going back and forth on the field I think is it here? here? yeah she's like can I do a dive? <laughs> so there's her little version of a dive <laughs> and I'm in my goggles watching her and it's, it's a little bit unnerving right? but uh, I'm not really worried uh, she's smashed it a few times and this is all still her so she didn't break it uh, we haven't screwed up any props or anything. It's still flying really nice. And she just, she has to work on her throttle control. As soon as she gets that, like, throttle control managed and she's not feeling as wonky, she, I think she's going to be a excellent pilot and I'll be able to fly with my favorite little person. <laughs> right now, I, I just kind of... I wear the goggles, and I kind of guide her a bit. And, uh, I don't want to get it out of any more trees. Last time, ooh, she flew the Drac Knight. It got stuck in the tree, and it was just a total nightmare. So if you want to see that video, where all that happened, I'll link that video at the end of this one. That was when Mattias came over, got a haircut, and picked up his discus. If you are interested in getting a ballerina or a discus, go into the description. It's, yeah, and my website is there. You can check out some of the drones. We're going to have find and flies available soon. And I keep developing the uh, sub-250 category, making some really fun, beautiful drones that fly well. Okay. Enough talky talk. So you did it, baby. I'm so proud of you. Isn't that easier than you thought it would be? Yeah. So you like the way this flies? Uh -huh. That's your favorite? Yeah, when I touch my cheeks, it feels like this pimple. <laughs> You're so weird. So you were scared of flying, right? <laughs> but that felt good? Did it feel better than that little one you broke? The little one felt better? Okay, maybe we'll make you a little one then. So if you had to choose between me making you like the big one like that one or making like a little one like the other one, you want a little one? <laughs> you want the psycho, right? Okay, we'll make a psycho for you. I was gonna, I wanted to call the drone the, the psycho. 
iconic drone. That, well, that's the psycho. I like calling it psychotic. Okay, we'll build a, we'll build a psycho for you. Call it psychotic. <laughs> I got you, I